Hello and welcome to Computer Tech and More. Today I'm going to do a quick video about this new hard drive I have. It's the Seagate Exos uh, X20 20 terabyte hard drive and I'm going to be replacing my 10 terabyte Western Digital that uh, is in my Synology NAS. So taking out a hard drive is uh, very simple. Uh, I've already taken it out. Well, it'll be just uh, the installation reverse. You pop side off, pop it off. Uh, as a side note, if you would like to just see how fast the new hard drive is, uh, it'll be in the second half of the video and I'll have timestamp to it. And then you pop it out of its little container like that. And there's the, my hard drive. There's the little sled. And here's the new hard drive. So you slide it in, make sure it's nice and secured in there, pushing on the sides. And then we grab the uh, locking rails, do the back first, click, flip it over. And there we are, click, click. All right, lock over. So here's my NAS, excuse the mess. Uh, take off the little cover I have on it, slide it in. You can see that it's in a degraded state based on this blinking light because I'm replacing that one hard drive. And let's see, you should see a light come on. And then, whoops, sorry, I bumped my fan. All right. We're going to get to this data in a moment. So I'm not an expert. I don't pretend to be a complete expert. I do have to look at guides. So... My Synology NAS is telling me that it's in a degraded state. I have my volume. It's telling me it's degraded. I go to my storage pool. And we're waiting for it to see. Let's see, there's the new hard drive. It is not initialized. So let's go ahead and go to actions. Uh, Uh, optimize rec hash results, loss of power fire. Let's do secure erase. There's nothing on the drive, I just wanna. Actions, repair, select, next, continue, new drive you want to continue, yes, apply. Sorry, I have to remind myself on how to do this. And then the Synology will go ahead and rebuild your array. So my uh, NAS is set up for a, a Synology RAID SHR2, so that allows for two drive failures. That is the safest, in my opinion, for anything over six hard drives. At six, you can get away with doing one redundancy, but as you add more hard drives, just the probability, the likelihood that one of them will fail, fail tends to go up. And uh, right over there, I got a little notification telling me that it's starting my repairs. 
So then you just got to let the NAS do its thing and repair itself. And it can take some time. All right. So first and foremost, this is a picture of my display when I ran the test. You can see that this was, uh, that's just the rounding error because of the different bit sizes versus uh, gigabyte sizes. There's a slight difference, mismatch. But uh, this is the performance using Crystal Dismark and my test parameter. And there is my data transfer speed doing a file test to the hard drive. So how does this compare with other hard drives? So here's my data from uh, uh, a smaller sample set of my uh, extensive hard drive testing. So the first one here is a uh, sequential uh, read and write test. The exos is here at the bottom. And the write test is red. The, the read test is the blue and uh, purple highlighted for the Exos 20. And you can see that it is my fastest hard drive. Again, the, all these are tested, uh, hard drives tested in a brand new state, empty of all data. So this is as fast as the hard drive will be. As you fill, up, fill it with more data, it will tend to slow down. If uh, any hard drive is missing a uh, data point, a line basically, I changed my crystal disk mark uh, test, uh, test parameter and the hard drive was not available to rerun the test because it was installed in NAS, that kind of thing. So the uh, Exos 20 is my new top performer. It is a enterprise hard drive is a little bit noisier and runs a little bit hotter and more power than a standard Western Digital Red hard drive. The Pro series, both for uh, Seagate uh, Iron Wolf and uh, Western Digital Red Pros, tend to run very much the same as their Enterprise class hard drives. It's just how long their like warranty uh, period is, how many. Um, mean time between failures and uh, predicted uh, how much data can be written to it. So it's a really fast hard drive. And then my second test, here we are. I'm trying to adjust my camera a little bit. So the Exos 20 is again the top performer here and really blows away the Iron Wolf Pros, uh, 16 terabyte drives, even the 18 terabyte. Um, again, just larger capacity is gonna be faster at the very beginning. Once they're close to being 100% uh, filled, they're all gonna be very similar in speed because you're at the inner part of the disk. Uh, but at the outer part where the, the spacing between the, where the data's read and read, written and read from uh, really makes a difference. And then we're going to, uh, this is random with a four kilobyte Q32 uh, threads eight. And this is where hard drives are not very strong. So in a NAS, you're likely to be doing sequential reads and writes primarily. So uh, this data is just to show you the data, but it matters a lot less for hard drives. That's not what they're good at. And again, this one is four kilobyte, uh, one Q, one thread. And then last, but certainly not least, we have my write test, which is, uh, let me see how big did I make it this time? It's uh, 13 gigs uh, based off of three files each one about five gigs in size. I know that doesn't add up, but uh, three to five gigs. So it gives a very good sequential test if you're transferring larger files. It uh, is not comparative to if you're transferring like your photo album to and from the hard drive, or because photos tend to be smaller. Anyways, so there's the Exos 20 right there on the bottom, highlighted in purple and achieving 276 megabytes per second. 
and it is clearly the winner in terms of speed. But the uh, Ultrastar 18 terabyte is right behind it. And actually, I would call that within margin of error. And uh, yeah, there we go. The Exos 20 is an enterprise class hard drive and uh, is good for NASA operations and uh, other data storage. So it uh, could have a nice long lifespan and plenty of rewrite. But uh, here's my video on uh, the performance that you can expect out of the Exos 20 and installing it and uh, getting your NAS back up and running with the new hard drive. Uh, if you haven't sub subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. It really will help me out in growing my channel. And uh, bearing with me for being uh, new to this. And uh, if you have any comments to help me improve my uh, video capability or uh, critiques and advice, I'm really open to that kind of stuff. But anyways, thank you for watching and have a great day.